Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a selection box like the ones found in RT's games. Hope you guys like it. First, we will make a color rec node. You can also use texture rect. Let's also set its opacity to a lower value so we can see what's behind it. After that we create a script. Then we define the variables. Mouse down to check if the mouse is currently pressing. Mouse start pause is for the mouse starting position when mouse button was pressed. And mouse end pause for the mouse ending position when the mouse button was released. We will also set their types. Now let's put an input function to handle all the inputs. We check if the event is a mouse button. And then check if that button is the left mouse button or one. And if it is currently pressing, If the button is pressed, we check if the mouse down variable is false, then we set it to true. If it isn't pressed, we set the mouse down variable to false. Let's create an update function to update the rec size and position. Let's always check if the mouse down variable is working correctly. Great, it works. Now all we need is to check if the mouse is moving and call the update function. Now, let's just set the mouse start pause and mouse and pause value to the mouse global position in the is pressed and else conditions. Let's just change the else condition to an elif. As you can see, it works fine. In the is press condition, let's put it so that the selector's position will be in the mouse start pause.
Let's now set the rec size to the difference mouse start pos and global mouse position and snap its size to a 30 to by 30 to grid. As you can see it works fine, but not when the global mouse pos is lower than the start mouse pos. To fix that, we just change its scale to either 1 or negative 1. It can be done with this 8 lines of code. It doesn't work, because apparently, we need to multiply the size by the scale. Let's also add a method to change the size of the rec to the difference of the global mouse position in mouse start pos, but not snapped in a grid. It works. In the not as pressed condition, we just reset the size of the rect. Let's also create a pressed ended function and call it when the mouse isn't pressed. Now we create a simple test scene. Adding the node to a group is important for checking later. Now let's just put a bunch of that sprite scene in another scene. To check if a node is in the rect, we first get all nodes in the group we made. And then loop through all of them while checking if the, the node's global position is in the rect. If it is in the rect, we just add them to an array. Let's check if the right mouse button is pressed and then calling a function to move all the nodes that are in the rect.
As you can see, it currently doesn't work. That's because there are no nodes in the array. It doesn't add the nodes in the array because the has point isn't working, and to fix it, we just move the pressed ended function we called before we reset the rec size. As you can see it works now. But there's a problem, when selecting a nodes then selecting another one, both of them would move. To fix that, we just reset or empty the array. It works perfectly fine now. That's all for today. Make sure to subscribe.